All righty, I'm back. Jose Rodriguez here. We just got done talking about the Pro 1000, how this would be a near perfect printer if they just added two features. Go back and watch that video if you don't know what I'm getting at. So let's talk about Epson printers this time. Epson printers that can be used with refillable cartridges require you to do certain things. It's not foolproof, okay? And let's assume that the PA100 is able to use refillable cartridges, whether, whether they reside in foreign countries or in the United States. Let's just assume that you don't require a chipless solution or a decoder board. You're able to use your auto reset chips on those refillable cartridges. Here's what happens. The original cartridges for PA-100s for other earlier Epsons that use the same size and ex actually exact design cartridge they have an internal bag and they hold 90 milliliters of ink. The chip that they contain, we're talking about OEM cartridges now, the chip that they contain is calibrated for 80. So you will use all your ink until it reaches 80 and that's it, it's declared empty. You remove it and most people will toss it in the trash and replace it with a brand new one. Well, you just threw out at least 10 ml of ink, yes at a buck fifty each okay so that's why we refill and i harvest as much ink as i can from other cartridges other cartridges that are compatible with the epson printers that i currently use i'm not really using third-party inks on practically none of my epson printers at this moment so how would you go about refilling these cartridges and and do it the, the best way so that you never get any mishaps what are these mishaps well Listen to this scenario. A cartridge for the P800 or the 3880, they're physically the same exact body. They don't have an ink bag. They just have an internal chamber and they have a priming chamber that requires about five, six, seven ml of ink to fill it. And that generates a siphon type effect, which then terminates in your exit port of the printer. The problem is this, they have internal baffles and they take up space. You only have so much space to work with, whereas an OEM cartridge has nothing inside except that bag. So it's able to utilize the maximum amount of internal space, and that allows it to load 90 ml. You get a cushion of ink. You will never, ever run out of ink physically, even when your chip says you're empty. Even if the chip is off a few ml here and there, it will never run out of ink. Those refillable cartridges, yes, you can. The chips are still calibrated for 80 ml, but you only have about 70 working milliliters of ink in your cartridge, even when topped off to the very tippy top. So what you need to do, again, this is assuming that all of these cartridges reset automatically when they go empty, you remove them to disrupt the power connection to the chip. When you refill it at that point, of course, you pop it back in and the reintroduction of power resets the levels back to full. Your full level has to reflect the actual condition of the cartridge. If you reset it to full, you better top it off. It better be topped off. But here's the problem. You can never top it off high enough to match what the chip thinks the cartridge has as far as volume. So the chip thinks you have 80, but you really only have about 70, 72, something like that. And then that ink in the priming chamber that you can never get rid of, it has to always be kept full. So you cannot go that empty, okay? Make sure you remember that, do not go that empty. And I cannot vouch for every auto reset chip and their so-called accuracy because it does differ. But what I would suggest you guys do, and again, it requires a little bit of work. This is what refilling is. It's not just enjoying the benefits of printing with cheap inks you know, lowering your cost. You have to do a little work. You have to, you cannot eat your cake and eat it too. I always say that. You have to put in a little bit of time and effort in your part. And what that means is that keep those cartridges topped off. I don't care if they're only three quarters of the way down as far as the chip re is reporting. And with the chipless solution, it's always full. So you never know unless you physically look at your cartridges. So even with chips that report ink levels, don't wait until it's like low 
you might be close to losing your prime. And when that happens, ink cannot make it up that hill. It's a siphon effect. And if you go beyond a certain point, say you forgot to top off a cartridge and it was empty, you took it out, reset it, put it back in. The chip says it's full, but in reality, you only have about maybe 10 ml left. You will run out of ink and there's nothing but air to get in there. That will require a ton of work to get that air out of the ink line. You can't just do it magically by pressing a button, okay? Massive cleaning cycles and possibly a total ink recharge and you need a special tool to be able to do that, okay? There is no utility in the driver to allow you to perform that, that operation. You can't do it that way. So again, the simplest way to avoid any of this and don't go, oh my God, I have to top off all the cartridges, everything. Yeah, you do, okay, you do, simple as that. It's only nine of them, just have your inks ready. For me, it's like every two or three months I have to do that, no problem. Gosh, if I can't do that, I really need to give up printing, you know. So refill all your cartridges, top them off as soon as they reach like half point. You can see through those cartridges, they're translucent. If you need to remove one, just look at it. You'll know it needs topping off. The P600, which is the brother, the new brother or sister of the R3000, you can fill them while they are in place. Oh my God. That's even easier, isn't it? You don't have to remove them. You only remove them when they need to be reset. Okay. So that is it. Keep your cartridges topped off. Okay. They will always have ink. Even when the chip says, hey, I'm empty, you have no fear. You don't have to worry about ever getting air in your system. Believe me, take this home to the bank. You do not want air in a printer that uses stationary cartridges, period. This one will forgive you because of those internal compartments. They're vented. The air never gets to the printhead. Not so with Epson's. Any air you get in those lines will reach the printhead, period. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much again. I will have more videos. They'll be published sort of regularly during the week, uh, next week. Uh, I'll have one possibly tomorrow morning. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. As always, share and like. Happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.